Hey, how's everyone doing tonight? Great. Great. Good. So my name is Charmaine, and I am uh, an assistant Charmaine Bach. I'm an assistant district attorney, and uh, I'm a long time, <coughs> lifelong San Franciscan. I am running for San Francisco district attorney. I've spent the last 22 years working in Alameda County as an assistant district attorney over there, and some people get confused. They're like, what's up with that? And it's like, you know, I'm a, I'm a hometown girl, uh, and I went there because I wanted to learn from some of the best. It's one of the top two in the country in terms of programs. Uh, and there I've been in the courtroom, over a thousand courtroom appearances. My conviction rate's 95 percent. I've never lost a violent or serious felony trial. But I think what is probably most significant isn't that. It's that the work that I've done in this 22-year period has been committed to protecting the underserved and the underrepresented, being a voice for those who don't have a voice. I'm an ardent victim's rights advocate, and I've spent my life really focused on crimes that are committed against children, against at-risk youth, against women of color, and other communities vulnerable to victimization. Uh, I'm a nationally recognized leader in the fight to combat child sex trafficking, which are when, where children are sold for sex. And that's a really big problem right now. we got so many kids that are out on the streets. You probably see it out here. You know, kids, drug dealers, why sell crap, man, when you can sell, you can sell that dope once? But you can sell kids over and over and over again. And when we're little, you know, we don't know what love really means, right? So you're looking for love in all the wrong places. We all want to be loved. And these children are, you know, people are getting rich off of our children, American children, children from abroad. But people hear about it abroad, but it's really an epidemic in the Bay Area. I have received $300,000 from the Department of Justice as part of a grant for a program that I helped start called Heat Watch. It's based on Neighborhood Watch, but Heat stands for Human Exploitation and Trafficking. So we're bringing that program here to the Bay Area, and I supervise the program in all nine Bay Area counties, right? Because, you know, part of our problem is we're siloed, right? Law enforcement, 111 police agencies, not including campus police, multiple federal task forces. Nobody is talking to anybody. We're all in our own little Mayberry RFD. So we need to come out of that and work together so that we have community solutions, which is why I'm so proud to be here tonight with you guys, because you are part of the partnership that we need to have. You are the solution to this with us. It's a shared responsibility, and I see the DA's role as one of leadership, to, to bring these different groups together at the same table. My door will always be open to you for us to work together as partners, as I have done in combating violent crime. I'm just as committed to making sure that we have innovative solutions for the rest of it. You know, we need to keep our murderers and our rapists and our child molesters no doubt behind bars. San Francisco has some of the lowest conviction rates in the area. As a prosecutor, I will help that because I oversee many experienced trial lawyers right now where I am. I'm the assistant in charge of special operations, which means I lead all the tr elite trial units from human trafficking to unsolved murders and rapes, sexually violent predator, public integrity is one of the units also. So these, I supervise all these lawyers, I supervise their supervisors, and I'm in charge of policy development for the entire office. So I've worked my way up through the ranks to senior management position. So I know what it takes to lead. You know, we are at a critical time in our community. We have hundreds of prisoners being released, and we need to come up with community solutions to a lot of things. And you need a DA that's progressive and independent, who has courtroom experience, who's been there and done that. This is no time for on-the-job training. And I have lived and learned from my mistakes. I will not be learning at your expense. Victims deserve better. Defendants deserve better. Each one of you deserves better. You also deserve not just an experienced DA, you ex deserve an independent one. I am not a politician, folks. That's the good news and the bad news, I guess. Right? I owe nobody and nobody owes me. Yeah. And I will vigorously prosecute municipal corruption and police misconduct as I have just roll up my sleeves and take a look at it and handle it, you know? And I am also an immigrant. I wasn't born in this country, so I am very sensitive to discrimination where anyone is targeted based on their skin color, based on their gender, based on their 
socioeconomic class based on their sexual orientation. I will have a zero tolerance in my administration for that. I am saddened when I look in our community and I see, for example, that there is no woman in citywide elected constitutional office. I am saddened that people in our community think that being transgender is a provocative act. I am saddened when I look out there and I see that there are no women in leadership positions, enough of them in law enforcement. So I am uh, willing to you know, put my neck on the chopping table to, to make progress for, I think, our entire community. I'm also a mother, and my daughter wants to walk home from school. I want to make sure she gets home safely. And what it takes is an independent, progressive prosecutor that knows the job and has her eyes wide open. I hope to have your support. And I'm proud to see some of my supporters here. <laughs>